हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्विक सॉल्यूशन टू ऑल इंडिया कास्ट टेस्ट सीरीज मेडिकल 2020 एंड फॉर टीवाई एमबीएच टेस्ट 01 कोड सी एंड डी एंड फिजिक्स टेस्ट वाज हेल्ड ऑन 1st ऑफ नवंबर 2020 विल डिस्कस ऑल द 45 क्वेश्चंस वेरी क्विकली एंड लेट्स गो टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सी द क्वेश्चन सेज दैट दैट इनिशियल एंड द फाइनल टेंपरेचर ऑफ अ कॉपर स्फीयर वाज मेजर्ड by an observer to be 41.2 plus minus 0.1 degree celsius and 31.0 plus minus 0.3 degree celsius respectively the change in temperature of the sphere with the proper error limit says options are first option minus 10.2 plus minus 0.4 degree celsius second option is 73.2 plus minus 0.2 degree celsius third option is 9.2 plus minus 0.4 degree celsius and last is 13.1 plus minus 0.4 degree celsius now what do you find in this one is the question is based on the error analysis combination of error with the subtraction method and it's given that your initial temperature t1 is equal to 41.2 degree celsius and the final temperature t2 is equal to 31 degree celsius right now the difference in temperature is equal to the final minus initial one so t2 minus t1 if you look and that is equal to 31 minus 41.2 and this value become equal to minus 10.2 degree celsius right now what is the error absolute in this one that is equal to delta t1 plus of delta t2 so pick up both the values so that is equal to 0.1 in the first one and 0.3 in the second so total become equal to 0.4 degree celsius so here the change in temperature right t plus minus delta t which is equal to minus 10.2 and plus minus is equal to 0.4 right degree celsius look at the options the option 1 is minus 10.2 plus minus this one therefore to answer to this question is answer 1 so let's move to the second question this question says that a certain physical quantity p can be calculated using the relation p is equal to root of ab square over c power 4 by 5 where ab and c are the some physical quantities with 1% 0.5% and 2.5% as maximum errors in their respective measurements the maximum percentage error in the computation of p is now dear students what do you find that this is again the question on the error combination in which the percentage error you have to calculate and you know that as p is given equal to a if i remove the square root this is a power 1 by 2 into b and the c power 4 by 5 therefore delta p by p from the error analysis would be equal to 1 by 2 the power get multiplied and in b this will be delta b by b and in c the maximum error this is 4 by 5 into delta c by c right to find the percentage error delta p by p into 100 this will be equal to 1 by 2 delta a by a into 100 plus delta b by b into 100 plus 4 by 5 delta c by c into 100 right now we have to fill up the percentage here this percent is given 1% so this is 1 by 2 into 1% and in b it is given 0.5% so this is 0.5% and 4 by 5 percentage in c is given 2.5 add this one this become 0.5% and this is again 0.5% and the last 5 into this this is 2 and that become equal to 2% what is the total value the total value is equal to 3% now your options one is 1.5% second is 3% third is 2.1 and the last is 4% so the answer second is the correct answer so answer to this question is option number 2 right let's move to the next question number 3 among the given sets of the physical quantities the set which cannot correspond to a hypothetical set of fundamental quantities is 
the first option is length time and speed mass speed and energy the force energy and length and last is all above now dear student what do you find this question is from dimensional analysis and whenever you have to find a hypothetical set of the fundamental quantities then the quantities selected are independent of each other that means they should not have any relation among themselves and see in the first set length and time no doubt they have no relation but when you talk about the speed and you know that speed is equal to the length divided by time yes it is related to the length and the time so the first set a you can't take because speed is related to this one likewise in the second mass speed and energy and you know that what is energy energy if i write half mb square so it is again related to mass and the speed so again you can't take energy as a fundamental along with the mass and the speed and third is force energy and length again energy is dimensionally equal to work and work is related to force and the length again you can't take it because this energy is related to other two fundamental quantities therefore the correct option would be the answer for that means all the three sets you can't take as a hypothetical fundamental quantities so next move to the question number 4 says that consider the following two statements statement a says dimensionless quantities are surely unitless statement b says that unitless quantities are dimensionless the correct statement is r first option only a only b both a and b and last one fourth is neither a nor b now dear students dimensionless quantities can have the unit so this become wrong because if we take say the plane angle the plane angle is a supplementary unit it was the arc length divided by the radius and this quantity was the dimensionless but still it was given the units as radian therefore this statement become a wrong statement but the second option that unitless quantity are dimensionless yes if the quantity has no unit then it is dimensionless that's a true so it means the statement b is true although a is wrong so in the option the answer 2 is the correct option let's move to the next problem the question number 5 says a micrometer has 150 equal division on circular scale and on one full rotation of the circular scale the main scale advances by 0.02 cm on the main scale the least count of the micrometer in cm is equal to these are the four option 4 into 10 is for minus 5 the first option second 6.21 Then to the minus three, third option one point three ten is for minus four, and last option one point two one ten is for minus two. Now the least count of a micrometer, I write here. You have to see what is the pitch, and what is the pitch that in one complete rotation how much distance it moves forward, divided by number of divisor on the circular scale. Now what is the pitch? it's given that it advances by 0.02 cm on one rotation of 150 equal divisions this become the least count so this can be written as 2 10 is power minus 2 and i write 150 as 1.5 10 is power minus plus 2 but then fine so this become equal to 2 divided by 1.5 multiply by 10 is power minus 4 and if you solve this become 1.33 into 10 is power minus 4 right so the answer to this question is 1.33 10 is power minus 4 in the option the option 3 is this one so answer to this question is 1.33 10 is power minus 4 option number 3